nothing, but that's one of my usual walking paths is down that road to get to one of the trails. And it looks like there's a car down there waiting. I'm not going down there right now anyway, but I've been putting myself out on the main drag. And, uh, tempting them. I'm wondering why are they not grabbing me. They just keep following me, but they're not grabbing me yet. It's very strange. That's kind of what it's been like. So, uh, anything I do, you gotta put the following me. So, when I was in the store just now, I came out and there was one. Now those are marked. Then, yesterday, when I was here, there was one right over there in a marked, waiting so that nobody could get out of this area without coming down here which also had a marked sitting there on the road. Then, if you go up that side street over there, they had another marked over there. So, I just presented myself again person to so many of them, and they're not taking me out. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Either they don't have enough, or they just want more. Uh, so they can hold me longer or do I don't know so the search goes on the investigation goes on I do know that I, I'm really fucking pissed about these scumbags I, I won't say the names again Garden Gardens I'll call them Garden Gardens Management in Connecticut the old boss the multi-millionaire um, I mean it's fucking ridiculous man so I think what he's done is he's pissed me off enough to, to get a bunch of people together that he's fucked over and, uh, and, and just come out with it all and get it all out there. I mean, I've seen that dude do some really terrible shit. He ran a little old lady, a little old Jewish lady. He ran her out of the building and he broke her. Now, she was a little crazy. I'll give you that much. She was a little nuts, but she was there in his building for renting for a lot of years. And, uh, and we had meetings, we had company meetings about it, and about her, and how we were gonna get rid of her and all that, right? Because she was trying to sue him too, and they were doing a counter lawsuit type of thing. So, uh, they were able to find out, the office of this scumbag company was able to find out how much money she had to throw at attorneys. And I believe it was like 80 something grand she had in the bank or something. Because they have that information. They know how much she's got in her bank account and all that stuff. It's easy for these people to get this info. So when they did that, they um, they said, okay, we're going to fucking break her. Because he's a multimillionaire. He's, I've seen him break many people. But this one lady was pretty sad to watch because he had all the contractors going to court. He had uh, maintenance guys, maintenance staff. He's got the money to do this. And he pays everybody to go to court for him. 
he's got family that are lawyers and he pays them big money and it's all a big circle jerk tax right off fucking garbage um, so that was pretty sad to watch uh, but anyways he, so he did it and uh, kids and then they're gonna do a big bust while I'm with my kids or some shit, right? Make it all mellow and dramatic or whatever. You know. That's no good. I'll be back.